Barbie Benton. If you grew up in the 70s, you knew who she was. My first recollection of anything related to Barbie was an album. This one here, to be exact. My friend Dave Nielsen had it. I don't remember any of the songs on it. I really don't, but I am aware that Barbie had a number of country music hits in the mid-70s. In particular, a song called Brass Buckles, which went all the way to number five on the U.S. country charts. And although I watched Hee Haw from time to time and noticed Ms. Benton both performing comedy and music on the show, in my mind it was her work on the many awesome Aaron Spelling TV shows of the 70s that made her a pop culture icon. Seriously, this woman may have been on Fantasy Island eight or nine times during its run. Fantasy Island and Love Boat, which aired one after another on Saturday nights in the U.S., was, they were must-see TV for me. I loved the anthology format of both shows, and I didn't mind that actresses like Barbie Benton showed up from time to time. I mentioned The Love Boat. I believe she made four appearances on that show, plus Charlie's Angels, Vegas, Chips, Matt Houston. What well, you get at the list goes on and on. Barbie was very much in demand as a guest star on primetime television. Truthfully, it wasn't until years later that I became aware that Ms. Benton's first brush with fame came from being Hugh Hefner's steady gal for seven years beginning in 1969. From what I understand, she also made a few appearances in the magazine. However, if you're watching this video to see those pics, well, you've come to the wrong place. In 1979, Barbie married real estate developer George Groudow and made a decision to take a step back from the entertainment industry. She didn't completely disappear. Semi-retirement is probably the best way to describe Barbie in the late 80s and early 90s as she and George raised their two children. Most recently, Barbie has appeared as herself on a handful of reality TV shows, including The Girls Next Door, Extreme Cribs, and Million Dollar Rooms. At this point in life, it seems like Barbie is extremely content to bask in the genuine goodness that comes from friends and family. Although her children are grown now, they remain a very close family, and Barbie and George seem like the real deal as they approach their 40th wedding anniversary. So that's it. What do you think? Were you a fan of Barbie Benton's? And was it her music? or her television appearances. Let me know in the comment section below and while you're at it, I would appreciate it if you clicked on the thumbs up icon and maybe even considered subscribing to the channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most of all, and as always, thank you so much for watching.